Hey, this is Rick, and welcome to another unboxing and review. This is the Miffins Tech, I believe I'm saying that right, TX5 Pro TV Android TV Box, uh, Home Media Center. Um, unless you've been living under a rock, and I don't really mean that derogatory, but Cody has been around for a while now, and this is preloaded with Cody on there. Cody is nothing more than a media center that allows you to have access to different types of media, whether it be TV, movies, uh, music, um, MP3s, whatever it is that you have on your box. These have USB ports that you can put adapters into and you can play your media off of them also. Comes in just a plain brown wrapper box. It's wrapped up in a plastic sleeve. And as you can see there, the TX5 Android box. And it's a Pro box. It just doesn't say Pro on it. I got this off Amazon. I believe it was $58 with shipping. It has a little slot here for your micro cards. It has two USB slots right here. Turn it again. This is your power adapter cable, HDMI. This will be for your Ethernet port. And I believe this is for your sound, and your MAC address, and your serial number. The other side, it's going to just have a blue USB LED that lights up when it's on, and then it'll turn red when it's off. And then nice, they say thank you. Well, at least somebody says thank you these days. <laughs> we'll pull this out. And there's the power adapter. Comes with a HDMI cord. Looks like it's a small cord. And a simple remote. Now this doesn't come with batteries. We'll have to preload some batteries in there. And it also has a user manual. And, and this looks like it's not very in-depth. <laughs> so we probably have to do a lot of uh, research online. But it, I think it's self-explanatory. probably plug it in. Um, it says it's preloaded with Cody on there. So we'll get to that part now. All right, so I simplified things a little bit to try to make it a little easier, hopefully. I put a power strip here so that we're ready to go. I've also gone ahead and plugged in a HDMI cord to my TV or monitor so we can uh, show exactly how easy it is to set this up. So here's the power cord. We'll go ahead and plug the power cord into the back of the box. The TX5, I'll go ahead and plug it into my power strip. And it looks like we have a blue light. I've gone ahead and I preloaded some batteries in there, some rechargeables. And it doesn't look like any lights are backlit on the remote. It's just a simple remote. But what I do like about this is for people that maybe are not familiar with these type of boxes or maybe um, how to scroll and use the uh, media player um, uh, Cody is this is simplified by just a, a scrolling type of button up and down side to side okay this looks like a home key little house probably a menu key a return key like a back button volume up volume down and then a mouse button so I imagine it has like a wireless mouse uh, type feature and then of course your power and a mute button for your sound so I'll go ahead and put my HDMI cable in and there we go now I'm going to spin the camera around hopefully you can see this And not the Harley-Davidson, but hopefully I can get this uh, 
set up. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll change. If you're not familiar with your TV, a lot of your TVs or your monitor will have what they call a source button or a line button and that will change the HDMI ports on the back of your device. Okay, so now we'll switch the source code on the monitor. Digital media adapter should be the Android device and there it is. Alright, so once again, here's the remote. I've done videos in the past and people have said that uh, they didn't like the stuttering for me holding it handheld, so I'm going to try to do it this way. Of course, I've got a 50 inch monitor here, so we're going to have to film it from the side angle. Hopefully, it'll be enough to uh, get a decent review of this device. Using the remote it has to be a line of sight remote it looks like if you don't have it pointed directly at the device it will not read it so it may look into um, maybe an air mouse some um, type of keyboard or um, remote control so look for that video that may come next because I don't know if I'm going to use this uh, without line of sight especially if it's mounted behind the TV and you cannot point it directly at the, the box. So we'll scroll through. There's different things here. There's Google Play, just like your Android phone would have, where you can get uh, apps and, and different programs there. There's YouTube. I imagine you can set up your YouTube account to that. A browser that you can go outside onto the internet. And I imagine you won't be able to do that now because it's not set up um, with my account. File browser. And that will work if you have a disk plugged in. Right now there's no USB thumb drive or any uh, micro SD card in that slot. So there's not going to be anything to read. So we'll get out of that. But I imagine you can put your music or videos or... Uh, pictures on there and you can view them um, like a regular media player the settings tab um, you go in here and I guess you set your wireless up you're gonna need to do that find your wireless and then go into your wireless functions go ahead and put your password in and once your wireless is set up then you can start to install programs or probably go online And once you download apps from the Google Play Store, looks like there may be some apps already installed in here. There's your browser, your file browser, gallery. I imagine if you have your pictures in there, there's Cody that's preloaded. Music, if you have music loaded on here. Movie player, I'm not sure what Mobdro is or Miracast, another media center, Netflix. There's the Play Store, Netflix. PPOE, read logs, and rotate the screen. So there's some other settings that are involved in this. So we'll go back, and here's what everybody's been talking about. This is Cody. So we'll go into Cody over here. You can go online, and you can look at how you can load in some preloaded programs that already have Cody built into them, um, and a little more user functioning. There are some programs that are already on this. There's a maintenance tool. Videos. Pro sports tabs. Exodus. Ted. And once again, once you have your pictures loaded on, you could probably check that out. But as for the function of this box, we'll go back to the original setup screen for the Android box. It uh, looks pretty good. Pretty smooth. Once again, like I said, you have to have line of sight of the device. And I'm going to go ahead and try to install uh, a mouse or some other type of device on this. But um, as for the function of this, it uh, seems like it runs pretty good. 
Uh, please give me some feedback. Let me know what you think of the video. Thanks again for watching. And once again, please subscribe.